Well, hey there, space cowboys. How you doing? It's Cody here. In our vlog. Thought I'd open up just with some overall happy, good news. You know, just to balance out the rest of the vlog. I am a homeowner. This is all mine. Lottie freaking dots. It's magical. It, there's also, I mean, hey, I'm joking and being funny and trying to be funny at least. But there's a, a good security feeling when you own your own home. Uh, we've rented for a while now. And there's always, you know, the scary thoughts of your uh, landlord just turning on you out of the blue for no reason at all. It just scares you. So uh, being able to own, own your own home really just gives you a good peace of mind when it comes to that aspect so it's happy it's happy go lucky here we're all happy we're all happy everyone is happy that's why I hate to rant and rave about stuff that's pissing me off this week damn it there goes the good vibes the magic archer army comes I fall back and punch them in the gums the magic archer army is coming to die gotta lay low hit them in the face when they're walking real slow pick them off one by one punching the midget army the midget arch army is anyone else really that surprised how little time it took dr phil to attach himself to the ted williams story really now that's just fast. That's nanoseconds there. Nanoseconds. A month ago, Dr. Phil's idea of Ted Williams was the baseball player who wanted to freeze his head and had fantasies about playing against Randy Johnson. And now, all of a sudden, he's all over this Ted Williams like crazy. Just you know, It seems fake to me just how he's able to go and wait till someone gets on the radar and just get them for a show and then does a huge, you know, expose on them. Uh, it's it's also weird because like Ted Williams keeps on having the same thing throughout his career where he he he's on the shows that are talking about him even sometimes badly, but he's doing promo work for him. It's just really surreal. You'll never see anyone else doing that, you know, or especially if they introduce their own story which has a negative aspect to it. Just it's surreal. It's weird as hell. But yeah, Dr. Phil, yeah, he had Ted Williams on, he had a bunch of his kids, his ex-wife on. You know, if if bitter relatives were Pokemon, Dr. Phil would be a Pokemon master. That's how good he is at just finding and collecting all these people out of the woodwork who want to come up and defame the guy. Yeah, I, maybe the guy does need rehab. I'm not saying he doesn't. Right now, Ted Williams is fighting the whole 15 minutes of fame thing and needs to get as many connections, many names, and just hit while the iron is hot. And Dr. Phil is sending him to rehab because he's a doctor and he's saying in his professional opinion that he should go. Actually, Dr. Phil's uh, doctoring license uh, has been expired for a long time. I think he went out like in 2002. So, that doesn't hold up. I just I smell bullshit all over. I just... I, I, now I'm not saying... I'm, yeah, I am saying Dr. Phil should do some shows where he just helps random hobos without talent. There you go. Then I would appreciate what he does here. Then I'd be able to say, okay, well, he was already doing something in this field. So then he, he has he has some experience, and this is something that he really should be clued in on. But when he just grabs random people that hit the spotlight like this, it just uh, makes my opinion of him just go even lower than it already is. It already is pretty low because there's there's accusations of him abusing his first wife. You can't you can't get much worse than abuse. Uh, you know, tricking out a hobo, pretty bad too. Ratings, money. Doctor Phil wants the money. I walked in on my brother watching the new adventures of Old Christine. That's that's really an awkward moment. I really don't know what to do in that situation, and kind of just slowly backed out of the room. Uh, I 
I, I, I haven't talked to him since. The other little story I wanted to tackle here is the YouTube homepage. It's been uh, drastically changed. <laughs> you know, I, I hate being this guy because, you know, I'm still going to use YouTube, right? But, you know, it's not that much of a change to keep me from using it. It's just, I, 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 I don't know, maybe, maybe if it keeps on going like this or they just keep on not giving us any options to choose something over the other and make us, force us, like the beta channels and now this, to, you know, accept it and use it because we say so. We're big corporate America now. Google owns us and you like it. It's, it, that gets irritating. That gets, because the whole thing about, you know, the internet is so much stuff is customizable. You know, you can do anything you want. You can make anything look the way you want. And I used to like, you see this box? It used to contain 12 videos for my subscribers. And it's right here. It was right here. Twelve videos. I can look at the thumbnail, see the titles, X out of them, watch them, whatever. It was a box. A box that I loved. Right? And now, first, they don't they don't automatically make you go to the subscriptions only option of the site. They they show first they show the one where it shows like, eh, Anthony, thumbs up man getting kicked in the balls and it's like okay I don't like this I didn't need to know that this is wasting my time and, you know it's like oh you know so and so favorited man eats his own balls you know it's just it's like okay uh, this is kind of a weird thing with the balls but I, I don't need to know this you know I just it's just it's annoying looking at that kind of stuff and then you have to figure out they like, say learn more and you read the learn more and so it's like subscription videos only or whatever and you hit that tab and your video the videos from the description are shown right and they got a little section about this wide and like about like three or this or three or four displayed and you're like okay and it shows over here on a little bit of the description and it's like I don't need to see the description I had an idea from the thumbnail and the video title and who it was from what it was going to be about but what it forces you to do it forces you to scroll down the page. So, you know, it went from this to, you know, a bunch of these. bunch of these. And on the, all the right side, it's all this corporate bullshit. It's like sexy Phil taking out the ass from Shane Dawson while, you know, I don't know, Ray William Johnson looks on. A voyeur. Uh, it's just, that's what it is. It's just a big circle jerk. And I hate that. And they got rid of, a, like, on the right, there used to be a little section with the comments and personal messages and video responses to my videos. And I love that. I love that section. And now it's gone. It's gone. It's, woo, where'd she go? Uh, it's gone. It's, it flew over the cuckoo's nest. And in its place is nothing but corporate bullshit. So... What you have to do to get to that stuff is you got to go to your inbox. And then from your inbox, you can click the different tabs. But I hate that. I'd rather see all my comments in the comments section. You know, the, the inbox, like, bolts everything together. It's like a giant stack of mashed pot potatoes. But then you throw okra in the middle there. And you put the gravy in there. And you put some chicken tenders. It's like, don't mix it all together. I want it in sections, YouTube. I don't eat like a freaking pig. I want to taste what I'm eating when I'm eating it. I don't want to eat a giant famous bowl from KFC. No, thank you. I never ate that thing and it's disgusting. <clears throat> but that's what YouTube wants you to eat. It wants you to eat a giant famous bowl and it's going to, you know, sprinkle in. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> All their little superstars in there. And uh, you're going to be happy about it. But that's my rant about that. I mean, it just, it sucks because I liked it the way it was. Uh... You know, I thought it was cool that they're coming out for an option for something different. I tried it and said, well, I don't like this, so I went back. But then they made it mandatory. And that's where you don't want to go with the Internet. Nothing should be mandatory. The layouts and the stuff should all be, you know, all, you know, oh, I could change this and make my, you know, title header pink and my text on the left side of the right segment box gray, you know, well, I mean, not gray, maybe charcoal, you know, just the options, you need to have the options, YouTube, have the options, please bring back the options to at least have this box with the videos in it, where I can see uh, 12 videos, 
12 videos. That's what I liked. So I liked. I like to have comments, personal messages. Yeah, I like my inbox separated. I don't like it to be one giant congealed clump. But yeah, that's just where I'm at right now with that. Uh, yeah, I, 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 like I said, I'm probably not going to leave YouTube over it. But if it's like a current trend and it keeps on going down this path where everything becomes set in stone because YouTube thinks you'll like it this way, uh, maybe I will leave. I mean, if it keeps on doing that, it gets annoying. Or maybe, you know, I would I'd split my time with YouTube and some other sites. I don't know. The hardest part, I was explaining to someone, one of my describers, Diana, was that YouTube was first. And because YouTube was first, everyone went there first. And it has the huge viewer base. But they're they're getting up to tens of different tens of different video uploading sites. They're pretty good, and some even eclipse YouTube. But they just don't have the people there. Without the people there, you know, it, it really it, uploading videos kind of loses its appeal. <laughs> no, I mean I like watching my own videos. Don't get me wrong. I can watch this all day, all day, every day. But I like the feedback. I like the people. I like the fans. I like. The friendly conversations we have. So, yeah. So, maybe, uh, you know, maybe YouTube will piss off its base enough to one of those other ones, other sites can, you know, spring up and take some power back. There are already some on the rise. Like, uh, look at Blip TV. Blip TV has some power, you know? Uh, give it to Blip. It, Daily Motion lets a lot of copyright crap stay up there. I think because they're from the UK. So, I mean, you can watch a lot of wrestling stuff. A lot of old school wrestling stuff all over that site. So, I mean, there's some things, you know, I'm already seeing where they're already eclipsing YouTube or getting away with more or doing more. So, yeah. I just want to throw that out there. I hate the new homepage. Uh, I'm starting to hate Dr. Phil. I don't know what's wrong with Daniel. He's, he just seems uh, so estranged from me. Sometimes I don't know if I even know who he is, really. Sometimes. I just He's just there. He's just there sometimes. And he's watching New Adventures of Old Christine. Which makes me want to vomit. All the Seinfeld cast should have retired after Seinfeld. There, I said it. And that's how it should have been. They've done jack squat afterwards, and it's all been garbage. Even if this show stuck around for a little bit, it's garbage. Garbage. Oh my goodness. You know, it's a great thing is I have my own box. This is my video of the week. This is my box. Not YouTube's. It's mine. All mine. And they cannot take it away from me. No matter what they do. No matter what they say. No matter how many threats I get. This is my box. Also down below. Thank you for watching, my space cowboys. I'm sorry for all the negative attitude, but you gotta take it all in stride and just be happy for me that I'm a homeowner. Otherwise, see ya!